After someone submits your contact form seven form, do you want to send them to a specific page, like a thank you page or an order form page or a membership sign up page or what have you? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do just that very simply and for free using the redirection for contact form seven plugin. Hi, I'm Bjorn and let's get started. To install redirection for contact form seven is super simple and it's free. There's a pro version as well that adds even more features, but you can do lots of post submission actions for contact form seven with the free version. To get the free version, all you have to do is log into your WordPress dashboard, go to plugins and then click on add plugin. You're going to want to make sure you have contact form seven installed. So in the search bar in the top right, search for contact form seven, make sure that's installed. That one's currently active on our site. If it's not active, all you do is click on install now and then click on activate once the activate button appears. When you have that installed, we can then go ahead and search for redirection for contact form seven. This is the one we want right here by theme aisle. It's a high quality plugin, has lots of great reviews, lots of installs, everything checks out. I'm gonna click on install now to install it and then I'll click on activate. And now we have the free version of redirection for contact form seven installed. We see it's added the menu item for CF7 redirection right here. And this is the contact form seven menu item here. If we click into any contact form seven form, like this one, for example, there's a new tab called actions. This is the redirection for contact form seven control panel for this specific form. Each form will have its own unique control panel where you can add unique post submission actions for every form. And we're gonna add one to this form right now. When I click on that tab, I can click on add action. And we can add lots of different actions for this video, we're going to focus on the redirect action. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to rename this action to redirect thank you page. I'm going to choose a page I created already, which is the thank you for submitting the form page. You can also choose a custom URL, which could be on a different website if you want. You can just enter the URL right here. There's a bunch of other options we'll take a look at in a second. For now, we're going to save and see how just doing those simple steps leveled up our form almost instantly. Let's submit this form again. And now we're on a thank you page. You can customize this page to your heart's content. This is just a really basic example. We can also pass information from the form to that page. Inside of the action editor, I can choose pass all fields from the form as URL query parameters, which will put all the data from the form into the URL of the page on the thank you page. And we can use that on that page if we want to. We can also just pass specific fields. I'm gonna choose passing specific fields. These are pulled from available mail tags on the right hand side here. I'm gonna choose your name, paste that right there. And here we have an example of how we use that on the page. So we use the short code get param and then param equals open quote and you put whatever short codes you entered and then that'll pull that information onto the page. Let's see how that works. Let's copy this and let's save this page because our work on this page is done. And let's edit this thank you page. So the short code here, that's gonna insert my name. And I wrote comma, thank you for getting in touch. I will reply to you as soon as I can. Let's save that and let's resubmit the form. Then click on submit. And here we have the same titles before, but down here it says Bjorn because that's what I entered in the name field of that form. So whatever it entered in the name field is gonna show up right there, which is pretty cool. It's a really simple and effective way to make your customers and clients and form submitters feel more appreciated and feel like they're having a personalized experience on your website. If you want to add various post submission actions to your contact form seven form, check out the links in the description down below for the free version and the premium version of the redirection for contact form seven plugin. There's going to be something you like there and your visitors are going to thank you. So click the links down below and give RCF7 a try today.